everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life, and today I am doing an update video on my planner. I'm actually technically almost two weeks into my new planner for 2018, but I wanted to talk about my first week in the planner, what worked, what didn't work, and things I'm changing um, moving forward. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little overview of everything. I did end up using it more like a running to-do list for things. I carried things over. Um, you can see I drew a line and an arrow, kind of like bullet journal style, to move tasks over. And then I also had mentioned that I would probably change my film day thing and put videos over in the notes section, which I ended up doing. And I'm doing that for the second week now, and I really like that way. And again, videos I didn't get to filming or editing, I just crossed them out and drew an arrow and then transferred them for the next week. Some days I used the box way more than other days. Like Thursday, it was play date and anniversary, so I just chilled that day. I didn't have anything on my list. You know, I still worked on some small cleaning things, but not things that I would write down. Um, I don't write down every single little teeny tiny thing that I do. I just try to make notes of the, you know, the main things I want to get accomplished or the things I need to remember to do, like um, do a UPS drop off for a return. Anything that's scheduled, I have been putting up at the top, so I kind of start my to-do list a little bit further down, so I have room to write things up at the top there. I've been really trying to work on the, I don't know what people call it, the one-minute rule or the three-minute rule. If you see a task that needs to be done that's going to take a minute or less, you just do it. You don't, you, know, don't, you don't add it to the checklist. It takes up mind space for you to have to remember something or to write it down. It takes up, you know, space in here of things that you still need to do. So if you see something that needs to be done, like making the bed, I can make the bed in like two minutes. I just pull the blankets up and put the pillows and arrange them and I can get it done. I don't sit and think about it and write it in my planner and it's another thing I have to do during the day. I just, you know, I see the bed needs to be made, I do it. Just things like that. I just see a little crumb mess, I sweep it or vacuum it up real quick, things like that. So I've been really trying to embrace that, you know, for me mostly it's like a two or three minute rule. Anything that's going to take me two to three minutes or less, I just go ahead and do it when I see it. So it's really cut down on the level of stuff I feel like I need to get accomplished because I'm just doing those things more automatically now and it's really nice to not have to, you know, write everything. So I usually do a cleaning day on Friday. I didn't write all the cleaning things I did. I just wrote cleaning and I know, you know, the basic things I need to do every week. But then, you know, some days I wrote things that had carried over from the previous week that I didn't quite get to on cleaning day. And I knew I was having a play date at home, so I wanted the house to be really nice. I did most of my cleaning actually this week on Wednesday, so I just had a few things I needed to do left over on Friday. The other thing I noticed is I'm not going to be doing anything on Saturday and Sunday, really. I had written down making this exact video, but I didn't get to it over the weekend. It's just, you know, family chill time, and I didn't do any filming. I didn't do any you know, work. I didn't do any cleaning because the cleaning was already done for the week. So I was thinking these two moving forward, unless we have like a task up at the top, I could use this part for notes, just like I'm using this down below part for notes. I do have a meal planner that just sits in the kitchen, so I don't have to put my meals in here. It's just super redundant for me to do that. But I do have to take notes. I have to do some calculating on here for certain things. I take notes for things I need to link in videos when I'm editing them. I just make the little notes of what needs to be um, in the description box, that type of thing. It was nice to have that extra space for something like that, and then I could also use this space for additional notes. I have not yet used this weekly focus. One thing I just thought I could definitely use this weekly focus section, it's got one through five. I could use that for like bigger cleaning tasks or deep cleaning tasks that I don't hit every week, but then, you know, I know that they're going to be needing to be done. So I can write like one or two of those up here and make sure that I do those throughout the week. That could be something that I could incorporate into my planning routine. Now, the other thing I am doing is I am having a clip on here that marks uh, the page that I'm on. So with this planner, my monthly calendar is actually right on the month that on two pages. I'm not going to show that because it's got, you know, it's got personal information on it, doctor names and stuff on there. So I'm not going to show you guys my month on two pages page, but I also have this goals page here that I've been using. And I don't know if I even showed this in my last video, actually. So I mark it so that I can flip between this page and this page and I can reach the month on two pages with the tab. So everything's super easy. But I will go ahead and show you guys this page. Um, I was going to have two habit trackers. I was going to have a no spin and a scrap and I wrote these before January and before I decided not to do a no spend. So I'm doing a low spend. As long as I'm sticking in my budget and checking the budget and reconciling everything, I'm marking a check for 
for that day. So I marked the scrapbook one off because I am using the scrapbook planner separately, so I'm not keeping track of that in here. And then I wrote some notes over here because Olivia is going to have a big girl room starting, I think next month is when we're gonna start really working on this. So I am planning out some things I'm thinking about for her room. And then I've got a bunch of different things on here. I will zoom in a little bit for you guys for this part. So I actually have you know goals for each thing. There's health, home, me time, be social, financial, and dream big. So I was dreaming big at three videos per week, and so far I am scheduled to do three videos per week. So I ended up making four check boxes on most of these um, sections, and I've been marking them off. So I had already scheduled videos for the next week. I have that one marked off. I've been really trying to you know reference this and keep doing some things each week. One other thing I thought I may get asked about is the pen. This is a Gelosity pen. It was my, um, there you go, Bic Gelosity 0.7. I really like the 0.7 millimeter size. So I've been using the Gelosity pen, which I really like. I still love the Pintel Inner Gels, but Johnny got me a pack of these for my anniversary gift and I love them. So I've been using this one exclusively in here since that day. But I think that covers everything for this planner. And so um, the only other thing, I have these two pages, but I haven't used for anything yet. So I'm still um, deciding if I'm gonna use these pages and what I'm gonna use them for. So I will let you guys know if I ever decide to change it up. So far, this has worked really well. Like I said, I'm into my, I'm into my second full week of using this planner and I've really liked it so far. If you're interested in this specific planner, this is an Inkwell Press planner in the classic design, which is the column. And I do have a walkthrough video of this one along with a couple of other Inkwell Press planners in that video. And I also have a referral coupon. I think it's a $10 off coupon. So I'll have all that linked in the description box for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.